Hi, it's Jordan Robertson with Benzinga, and sitting down with me today is Nick Devlin, CEO of Naked Wines. Today we'll be discussing how Naked Wines is disrupting the industry. Nick, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. How are you? I'm very well. Pleasure to be here, Jordan. Awesome. And tell me about Naked Wines. What do you guys do? So we're the world's largest purely online direct consumer wine company. So we connect over 900,000 members, including over 300,000 here in the States, with 250 passionate, talented, independent winemakers. Who is the current wine industry built to benefit and how does Naked Wines disrupt that model? Really, the wine industry here in the States is this crazy legacy uh, of the end of prohibition. It's a strange compromise between Puritans and mobsters, and it's left a really unusual industry. So you have extreme consolidation. You know, most wine is made by five really big multinational corporations. Um, it then moves through a regulated tier of distributors, which have an extremely high level of power, uh, and then gets sold on to a consumer at retail outlets. So when you buy a bottle of wine in your local liquor store, that's the third time that wine has been sold. And as a consequence, Americans pay more for wine than consumers anywhere else on earth. Now, now at Naked Wines, we flip all that and change it completely. We connect you directly to talented, independent winemakers. And we cut out all those middlemen. Uh, we get out of the way. And the result is you get amazing quality wine. You know the person who made it. And you get all that at much better value. The pandemic saw a proliferation of success for direct-to-consumer wine companies, and that was no different for Naked Wines. How is Naked Wines poised to stand out from competitors, and what makes it a formidable challenger to win in the vertical? I think the thing that makes Naked really unique is our commitment to building long-term relationships with talented producers. So we help our winemakers in a number of different ways. Uh, we provide them with the financial support and security to enable them to put in place long-term contracts, get access to the best fruit, make the best wine possible. Uh, we do all of the boring bits for our winemakers, things like buying the corks and closures, doing all the bottling. Uh, and then we do the hard bit, which is selling the wine, which means our winemakers are able to focus on what they do best, which is making really world-class wine from great vineyards. And I think that level of commitment uh, and the way in which we work with our producers really sets us apart from and other, um, other companies looking to sell wine on the internet. What are some challenges you expect to face in the U.S. business in the next 12 to 18 months? Look, like all online companies, and it's not the easiest time at the moment, and we've got common challenges. Uh, we're working really hard to find new ways to attract members to Naked and dealing with rising costs, you know, higher costs to advertise on the internet, higher costs to ship wine across the country. Uh, but ultimately, we think there's an opportunity there as well because in slightly tougher economic times, that tends to be when consumers look at different ways of doing things. And ultimately the model we've got at Naked, by connecting the winemaker and the consumer directly and cutting out all the things in the middle that don't add value, means people can have an amazing quality bottle of wine and they might also be able to have a really big saving compared to an existing wine club they're a part of. So for us, the biggest challenge is finding more ways to get our story out, more ways to help people understand that the wine industry works in a kind of slightly unusual way and that there's a better alternative out there. As most Americans feel the effects of inflation, can Naked Wines continue providing value to consumers? Absolutely. I think that's the benefit of our model, is that when you get out and take out a bunch of intermediaries in terms of distributors, you also touch the product less, and it's a more efficient system all around. So in a world where you've got costs rising, you know that helps everyone, and it means we can continue to pass on better value to our members. And you see that we benchmark every single bottle of wine we sell. On average, our members receive between a 30 and 50 percent discount compared to the price of comparable quality products in their local liquor store. You recently raised a strategic update. What are some highlights and new learnings you will be taking into next year for the U.S. business? Uh, for us at the moment, we're really focused on building out the range of wines that we sell. So we work in America today with over 90 winemakers and we've increased a lot our range of choices for consumers at higher price points. So we're seeing increasingly, actually because our model offers such great value, that lots of consumers are looking to change up the way they buy things like their special occasion wines. So we've launched a series of luxury wines from amazing winemakers, people like Rudy von Strasser, who was one of the founding fathers of the Diamond Mountain, AVA in Napa, and Dan Barron, you know, former head winemaker at Silver Oak, to give our members access to an even broader range of choices. And we're excited to launch a ton of new products again in the year ahead. We're excited as well. Nick, thank you so much for sitting down with us. Really appreciate it. No worries. My pleasure, Jordan.